Hola chicas and welcome back to another video. I'm Christian and I'm moving to Spain and this is Chris in Spain. Today we're gonna look a bit of the map of Spain again and actually not the map. I'll be going to some street view again and I think we're gonna do Valencia this time because I've never been in Valencia. I've never even looked at the map. I tried to make this video before actually and it didn't went so well so I'm doing it again. So I have been street viewing Valencia once before but the video broke and I need to make it again and I'm actually already in a new place because I haven't seen this building before and this looks pretty amazing how can you step down on a random place you saw I didn't even zoom in because I don't know shit about Valencia so I just want to step into a random place and see what happens and I end up here just by this building this beautiful building so that's interesting it's a big square actually, very touristy spot, many people standing here, looking, taking pictures, seeing what's going on with this building here. <coughs> I know that uh, we need to go pretty much straight to the east to go to the sea, and I think that could be the chance of this video too. What the fuck? Did I just go through it? We can go through it. I didn't know that. Good thing I did actually, because now I can see it behind. Not as impressive, very different actually. It looks very much uh, as a behind <laughs> side of a building. But uh, this is fine. I don't know what has happened with the Google car, but every car is ghosting today. I don't know why I can't ghost. Okay, now it's night time. Oh, it looks nice. Oh, I like Valencia at night time. This is kind of a big square. I don't know what's going on. Is it just for people walking? Uh, and then some palm trees uh, breathing. I'm trying to get to the street again. Okay, here we go. No, no. No, we we'll try to go. Now we just went through again. I don't get it. I'm standing at the exact same spot where I started, but now it's night time. How can I be at the same place on Google Maps, but it's night time, but it was daytime before? Now it's daytime again. Now it's night time again. Now it's daytime. What the fuck? I don't know how this works. And also the weather was different, like there's two daytime things going on here. But see, the weather is different when I drive on this side of the road than when I drive on this lane. And now the weather is just, what the fuck, why are you going this way when I'm directly trying to make you go this way? Oh my god, okay, we, we are never gonna reach the beach today when Google Maps are fucking with me like this. Oh my god, why, why are you going back? You have to go forward, okay. I think it's uh, behaving nicely. Yeah, there's different weather and different uh, times of day, so the, the Google car must have drive on every single lane of this street to make this map uh, of Valencia. Valencia at all times and weather condition apparently because that's important, you need to know that. Also, you don't know if you like the city, if you don't know if you like it in all conditions, I guess. So. What's going on here? Uh, a little bit housing, fuck that, doesn't matter. We have a lot of trash cans, I don't remember, I think yellow is plastic and blue is in middle maybe. Then we have the brown and grey ones for normal waste and uh, food, I believe. There's a lot of tourist bus things going on and now the Google car is stuck again. I can go back apparently, can I go forward? No, no, yes. I can go in another lane and then I could go forward. Great, great, great. And we switch lane. Oh, the freaking time family. Now, now we're going the wrong way. I'm literally telling you to go this way. Will, will you go this way then? Yeah, this. Okay, whatever. If you like that. Maybe we should look at the buildings. That's why you're taking me here. Nice buildings. Oh, and very nice. Looking where the palm trees. See this as a picture. Imagine you took a picture of this. Just beautiful. Oh, this too, this park. Just this, this as a picture, actually. That will also be beautiful. But don't need to take pictures because Google Maps has already taken the pictures for me. Uh, and I'm going straight east still, so that's a good thing, I guess. Now, but what, what, what just happened? I was on the map and now something has been fucking with me, so. Okay, I guess I can go this way because that's kind of like southeast, so that's close enough. There should be something going on in the middle here. Is that this thing? I can go through here. And now I should have something on the right side. Yeah, that's this park thing. You can see that's a very big... Oh, I 
think I'm going towards an interesting building now. You can see there's a very big park thing going on in the middle of the road all the way through Valencia pretty much. So that shows you how much nature they have in Valencia. Valencia is famous for being a very beautiful city. Also, it's uh, ranked the number one expat city in the world, which means that expats moving to Valencia are the happiest with their choice of all expats moving to another city in another country than their own. So that's quite interesting and also um, rated as the cleanest city in uh, the world and uh, the healthiest city in the world. There's a lot of world first. It's amazing. It's not always rated number one in all these conditions, but it has been number one in all these conditions at least uh, one point. Okay, there was a building just before, but now I just missed the building. Oh, is is it here? Maybe? I wanna see it. I don't wanna miss it. There, here it is. Yes, it, that one. This is the most famous building. Oh, is it that? No, no I'm not even sure. Does it just look like that? I'm not even sure if this is the building I'm thinking of. I'll try to look at it from the other side, maybe. Because I think I have only seen this building from one side. So maybe I cannot recognize it from the other side. Okay, it at least looks very futuristic. I like the palm trees standing here. It looks like they're not even standing in uh, dirt. Um, and just this hole you can look into. But then you have a lot of these very futuristic buildings going on. But at the same time, it's also very old school. I'm mean, not saying it's an old school city um, for a Spanish city, but it, it still has some of the original Spanish charm you get from these cities that haven't changed. Okay, no, there's a lot of buildings going on here actually. Oh no, 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 don't do that to me. Oh, uh, yes, 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 yes. Let's look at it. Let's get a proper look at it. Oh, this is nice. It looks like it's about to attack me actually. Okay, but we also have something going on here. Actually, I think it's just this. Here's a smaller. I think it's this building. I was thinking about actually. I want to make it back to this side of the road again because we need to go this side to go to the beach. Oh, we can actually go here. Oh, this is a nice place. Oh, this is even better. So here you can see it, and this one too. So there's a lot of buildings going on here, and also these these are also very futuristic. They're like twin buildings, symmetrical, and you also have some symmetrical buildings here. It's amazing. I think this is like an art museum or something, that's why it looks so futuristic. Arts museum love to make uh, heavily designed buildings. But also we have this water going around here. So much water, see water all the way, it looks so fucking nice. It's so beautiful, I, ca I can't help uh, saying it all the time. And I think this is a very nice uh, little road to walk at, so let's just continue walking here. Oh, you can actually read the sign. I love the update of Google Maps where I actually update the camera. Let's see, Museo de las Science. Oh, it's a science museum actually. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, ticket. Uh, they have a souvenir shop. Cafeteria, of course, you have to have that. And more ticket. Oh, what? I think this is another. It's uh, like another. Uh, what do we call? Oh, is there another building? Souvenir shop, cafeteria, and the last one have tickets to... Okay, so there's three something, I don't know if it levels, uh, or if it's just three buildings. I think three buildings, maybe. Okay, we have Indiana Jones, Palo Arts, Obregal Hemispheric, oh, that's the one they have mentioned three of here, for some reason. Or not the first one, there's not one, there's a two and a three of that. I don't know. Oh, there were. Oh, I, fo I thought there was someone humping another one. And then I saw there was a dog and I was like, oh, is someone humping a dog? No, it's, he's walking it, I think. This is a dinosaur or, or then, it's a, then it's Godzilla, that's forbidden. I don't know. I can't read it from here, but maybe. Uh, no, that's not better at all, actually. Like that. That's that's unnecessary. Let, let's let's go a little bit further and see what happens here. Okay, this looks like a a dinosaur made of metal, actually. This looks like the Stegosaurus. 
how do you feel called? And just like a futuristic version of that. Actually, there's this game, what is called? Oh, I forgot what it's called. I don't play it myself, but I'm thinking about it. But it's a game about futuristic dinosaurs. There's a game happening in the future, and then there's some robots designed like dinosaurs walking around. Uh, you probably know what it is already if you are familiar with the game. Uh, so that game it looks like something from that game. So this is like a ball of something. There's very much art going on in this. Oh, good thing is actually something. I thought it was someone's house because then it would be amazing. It looks very futuristic too. But uh, we're trying to go out of this. I think I can't, so I think I will do this instead. And we need to go east. A little bit lower now. So yeah, I cheat a little bit. Uh, but I just find it annoying when uh, I get stuck, when I end up in the, in the plank spot. I get too annoyed. A lot of tourist buses. Oh no, no, don't, don't. Let me go on the biking. Cannot go on the biking. Okay, we're gonna cheat a little bit again. Going to the east. Oh no, don't fuck with me now. Oh no. Seriously. Oh, no, not time for this. More palm trees. Uh, little parks going on here. I think I know this place. I think I was here. Uh, on my last walk that means I should make it to the beach at some point in time but probably a long time see when it does this I get too annoyed so let's cheat a little bit again and here we end up in a nice little park and, uh, dude, you cannot be even call it a park but there's some nice nature here very high quality pictures of these uh, palm trees actually some very nice looking palm trees so let's cut okay for some reason it, it don't want to go the way I'm pointing Seriously, I'm pointing here. So now we are at the harbor. You can kind of guess it. And there's a circus going on. Interesting. I don't know what this is. Big house thing, but... Love into place here. You can see it goes through the um, hole here. Yeah, we, have, we are very much at a uh, harbor right now. So that's how the beach start. Or well, there's always a harbor somewhere and then the beach start when the harbor ends pretty much. So we just need to go all the way through the harbor. I think I can look straight ahead here. There's very much harbor things going on here. Very industrialized. This place and this harbor. Oh my god. I have a little cycling world here. Very uh, uh, separated off from the uh, roads, from cars. Uh, now it's doing it again. Boom. And now we are at the beach. Uh, Valencia should be a pretty nice cycling city too. It's uh, I've never seen it rated in the top cycling cities. But again, Barcelona is also never rated at number one. But it's easily better than the one rated at number one. So I would say Spanish city is just underrated for cycling. And some even say that Valencia is even better than Barcelona. So... I believe it could be the best in the world, actually. Some will think that at least. So this looks uh, very nice, this place here. I cannot really go this way, quite annoying. But you can look at it from here, I guess. And see a lot of palm trees, I really love that in Spain and Valencia especially. A little park here, most grassy area, but on some trees too. And uh, then you get to this. And the beach opens up. So when you imagine walking at this street, and then it just opens up like this. And we have, of course, some hotels and restaurants because they need to be here, and they are probably very expensive. Also, here the Valencia is not too expensive because it's it's still not too much of a tourist city. It's not too popular yet. So it is uh, like how a little dinosaur thing so we have a dinosaur theme today i'm pretty sure it's a dinosaur correct <laughs> so like how dinosaurs walking up the castle here and valencia like the valencia this is probably like professionals i have seen this in ben Medina too uh, so uh, valencia should be pretty cheap and it, at least uh, cheap for someone that is not native to spain and uh, we have a lot of cafes going on here again and more hotels 
maybe even houses and apartments here if there's actual houses and apartments here they would be really expensive i imagine a lot of palm trees again going on here very much the same going on all the way but at least we have the nature all the way through the beach uh, here so that's nice Can for some reason not walk now okay again and we have another castle uh, with humor or is this a table where jesus sat if there's 13 people this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i think there's two sitting on top of each other here and then 13 the jesus in the middle it looks like jesus like the long hair and thing so i guess that's what they have trying to make or is there actually two people here? There should be two. I think there's two people here, right? It looks like two heads, uh, at least. And we have some little boy here or something. Or what? Or is it actually an adult sitting here and chilling? Uh, oh, is him that built the thing? Yeah, I think that's they're often sitting right beside it, of course, and trying to get some money uh, for people thinking it's pretty for the one to give the money. It's often like homeless or. At least people trying to make money in a different way, you know? <coughs> so, very interesting, but now it looks pretty much the same. It's not the most amazing beach I have seen, but very beautiful still. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, compared to other beaches in Spain, it's not like something special, but I don't get me wrong, it's very beautiful. <laughs> and this is actually too, I like this, you can go in the middle parks all the way so now it's actually very beautiful so i take it back it is a beautiful beach it was just a part before i take it back from that because it is a very beautiful beach they have here and then it's a beautiful city very beautiful i'm just getting introduced to the beautiful so you, you you just get high expectations about how beautiful it should be right but it is a very beautiful city and a lot of things is beautiful in Valencia everywhere you cannot walk a lot of steps without some beautiful getting up being in your face and you being wowed about it and just thinks everything is beautiful but yeah i hope you liked this video and if you did then like it and subscribe for more videos like this and just more videos about spain i'm moving to spain in under two months now to madrid if you didn't know already so subscribe for videos about that and check out my other videos about my process of moving to spain um very much in the middle of buying an apartment right now so a lot of videos about that but there's a lot of videos in the past about my process of moving to spain and there will be more in the next two months and remember to subscribe for videos when i actually get to spain because we don't want to miss out on that because then there will be even more videos and we'll just go totally crazy because then we will see all the things i'm doing when i'm living my life in spain but until then i guess i'll see you in the next one bye bye